and welcome to the very first video of Corpens. Myself Rono Savio and today we are gonna discuss on the important things that you as a beginner coder miss in Python. It's not about the syntax, it's not about the logic, but it's about how Python actually thinks. So this one detail can change everything that you code in Python. So Python is not just any other programming language. It is powering the most powerful systems like ChatGPT to self-driving cars. So if you understand how Python actually thinks, then you're not just learning how to code, but you're also learning to think like an AI itself. Let me show you what, what I mean. So before we jump in, I just want to let you know that this isn't about just printing hello world in Python or a basic syntax. We are going to see how Python handles the code behind the scenes. So I hope you are familiar with variables and you know the fundamental data types in Python, integers, float, boolean, strings. If you know, perfect. Because what I'm about to explain you will give you a completely different perspective on how you look at even the simplest Python code. And let's say a equals five. So here, I believe uh, you guys know that a is a variable and phi is a data that I'm passing in to A. So in Python, this looks very simple and the data type of this is integer, we all know that. But now the question is, how does Python know that what you're passing, what data you're passing is an integer? It can be anything, it can be let's say 4.5 and Python takes it like, it doesn't mind. You give whatever data, it can take it. So if you give uh, a string, H E L L O, it it doesn't mind it still runs and i'm saying that python already knows the data type of this particular uh, what data what you're passing in so if if you want to see how it knows let's say print type of a you see it already knows what you're passing in is a string data type so if i change the value of a to let's say 5 or 54 whatever so see it says that okay the data type what you're passed in is an integer so now the question is how does python know that what data type you're passing and how what exactly happens when you're assigning a value to a variable so when i say a equals phi a is nothing but a pointer it's not actually holding phi it's pointing towards a structure in memory created by python known as pi object head this pi object head has three important features, the type, the reference count and the value itself. So in our case for the value phi, the pi object has the type set to integer, the reference count set to one and the value phi itself. So pi object head also stores something called as reference count. Reference count is nothing but how many variables are pointing towards a particular data that is A. And the thing about this pi object is that everything that you create in Python, let's say integer, string, boolean, or whatever you create, everything builds from the pi object structure itself. Whatever you create in Python is created from this pi object. Every variable that you're declaring has been pointing towards the pi object head in memory. So this structure is the reason why everything in Python is called as an object. So how does Python know that a particular data is no longer going to be used? So in pi object head, we have this piece of information called as reference count. This reference count keeps track of all the variables that are pointing towards it, like it keeps the count of it. So here we know that to in, in order to access the data in Python, we need to have at least one variable pointing towards it. So for example, let's say a equals phi. So a is a variable pointing towards phi. So we can access phi with the help of the variable a. But let's say I will give a equals 6 now. So now the phi, the pi object head for phi has no variable pointing towards it. The reference count for phi will be 0 because a is pointing towards a new pi object head that is for 6. So here when the reference count is 0, the garbage collection in Python will reset the memory for phi. It's going to be removed from the memory because the reference count for phi is zero. This is how garbage collection in Python works. 
So here's something interesting. Every time you create a pi object, there is a bit of memory used for it. And this happens for every object that you create in Python. This pi object is not just storing the value, it's actually storing the information like the type, the reference count and also the further details of the particular data. So even though storing a small information like an integer can use more data than expected. So this is a trade-off that Python makes and even with this trade-off, it's like Python saying, hey, I'll be using a bit of memory, but in return, you will get the freedom to code without worrying about all these low-level details of that particular data. And even with this trade-off, Python is still dominating in the fields of machine learning and artificial intelligence. Oh yeah, that reminds me, there is a webinar from Corpens about machine learning and artificial intelligence where you will learn how to understand about how all these concepts are working together and what's actually happening under the hood. So if you're interested and want to get started on these topics, link is in the description below. Do follow it or do check it out. So that's all for this video. So if this gave you a new perspective in learning Python, do subscribe and comment what all new topics you would like to learn. Until then, see you in the next video. Thank you.